So I have some some older pictures. Every picture. So this is her and I back in 2011. Every memory. 13 years old, went on this amazing cruise ship with my grandparents. Every treasured moment. At my sister's wedding, my brother and I just, you know, sandwich, sandwiching her with a kiss. Paint the portrait of Hilda Noriega's vibrant life. My grandmother was at everything. 92 years old on every vacation with us, and we had to keep up with her. Michael Noriega still laughs about her sweet tooth. Oh yeah, one time she told us, my doctor told me I cannot have any more chocolate. And then an hour later, we found her in the kitchen digging for chocolate. And he laughs. And we caught her. We said, what did your doctor just say? Oh no, my doctor said I can have one a day. <laughs> That's not what you just said. He also aches. Yeah every single day. You know, the pain comes uh, in, in waves. Every day is a, a little bit different. Regret over the tender goodbye he never had, the one swept away by the collapse of the Champlain Towers South Condominium. I would say, I love you, Kima, as we lovingly called her. Kima. Yeah, and she would say back, I love you more. And I always thought that I would have that last moment, that last hug, that last I love you more etched in my memory forever. The now empty Surfside condominium site is a bleak reflection of the worst days. There's some days where there's just sadness. It's overwhelming. Sadness, frustration, anger. It shouldn't have happened and this should never happen again. 98 people died in the condo collapse. Hilda lived on the sixth floor and had been planning to sell to be even closer to her son and family, including Michael and two other grandchildren. Complete and total absolute loss of words. Michael can never forget rushing to the scene that awful early morning. I just remember distinctly dropping to my knees because the situation was so overwhelming. As would-be rescuers worked frantically, as hours stretched into days and grief closed in. My, my faith is what got me through because when you're going through a situation like that that's so overwhelming, it's like, God, if you don't show up, I don't know how I'm going to get through this without you. Faith and a pledge to tell the story of a good life. My grandmother, as I've said many times, she lived for faith, family, and friends, very much so in that order. And so she lived her life in a way that honored God and honored others. A story worth remembering in a community Michael thanks for vowing to never forget. Everybody wanted to pitch in and help. Everybody wanted to pitch in and be part of a solution and just some way, somehow contribute in a way that could help these families that had just either lost everything or lost someone. And it's really helped. You know you're not forgotten. Absolutely. There will be an empty place at the holiday table for the Noriega family, but through the tears and grief, enduring love and faith as well. There's some days where I actually have joy because I believe that my grandmother went to sleep that night and woke up in heaven.